Would you like to know what all the hype is about kale? In this video, we're gonna talk about the health benefits of kale. Kale is packed with nutrition. Many experts say it's one of the top in the nutritional food that you can consume. It's full of vitamin C, potassium, iron. You can build a protein right out of the amino acids that you find in greens and kale is full of these amino acids. Fiber is something we need to have in our diet daily and kale is a great source of fiber. I love chips. I could eat a whole bag in one sitting. Just for myself. So I had to find some ways to replace those chips with something nutritious that's actually good for me but that I like that tastes good. And one thing that I found that a friend of mine shared the recipe with me a long time ago is kale chips. And I loved, kale is really easy to grow in your backyard and you get a lot of it. So growing it in your backyard would be the best option but you can find it in a conventional grocery store and you can find it at a whole food store. This is one of those that you want to get organic. So get organic if you can, and all you do is rinse it off. You wanna pull the leaves off, off of this hard stem, and I will show you how to easily make kale chips. This is something that your kids can help you make. My kids love to make them and they love to eat them. In fact, my husband likes most of what I make, and some things he likes more than others, and I was really surprised when I had these kale chips and he ate some of them and a couple days later he's like, do you have any more of those green crunchy things? So I thought that was fun that my husband liked it. That's always means, okay, this one's a, this one's a good one. So I have some softened coconut oil. You want organic cold pressed and I just pour this over the top. You don't want too much. You just need enough to coat it so that your seasonings can stick on it. So then I like to do black pepper because I love black pepper. And sesame seed, this is really, really high in calcium, very concentrated, so I like to put calcium on it, or calcium, well, it's pretty much calcium. Sesame seeds, and then just a little bit of sea salt, you don't need a lot, because my main ingredient is nutritional yeast, and I always, always have nutritional yeast in the house. And last night, I used the rest of it to make a cheesy potato soup. It tastes cheesy, so, um, I blend up some almonds or cashews with some water and put the nutritional yeast in and I made cheesy potato soup so I don't have it today but we'll show a picture so you know what it looks like. Um, it's rich in, in so many vitamins, minerals, B vitamins. It's really high in B vitamins so it's a good one. It's actually a whole protein so it's a good seasoning to use so it's not your cooking like rise your bread kind of yeast. I've had people that I share this recipe with before that use that and make sure you're using nutritional yeast. You can find it, find it at a, a whole food store, usually in their bulk section or in a package. Um, and I also like to use paprika. I also like garlic powder. You really can get creative and just season it the way you want it. So I'm gonna put a little bit of there for some color. And then I just mix it up with my hands. Make sure you wash your hands first. And then we're gonna dehydrate it in your dehydrator on 115 degrees for a couple of hours. And you can also do it in your oven, but I highly recommend your dehydrator. I have had people do it in the oven. You just wanna make sure you do it on as low as your oven can go and keep an eye on it. Open your oven door so you can release some of the heat out so it doesn't get too hot. You can even turn the oven off once it's heated, but it would be best to to look for a dehydrator if you don't have one yet. It, it's sure to keep the nutrition there and to cook it in so it's crispy and it's, it's not overcooked. For the nutritional yeast, the amount that you'll want is a tablespoon. It depends on how much kale that you have. If you're making a big batch, one to two to three tablespoons, you really can't do too much in, is my opinion. So I put on a lot of nutritional yeast. So kind of put it on and taste it and see what you think, but it's usually a, about a tablespoon to three tablespoons. So when you put them on the tray, you don't want them bunched up too much. So kind of spread them out, but they can be close. I usually make a lot at a time because we go through them really fast. So just spread them out like that and put them in your dehydrator. So this is what it looks like when they're done. You can see how crunchy it is. They are so yummy. It actually 
when I make these kale chips, when my family comes home, my kids get home, they're like, oh, you've been making kale chips. It, it doesn't smell that great, but they all eat them and it's worth, worth having that smell. I don't really mind the smell, but your kids might complain, but it's worth it. They're so delicious. So I could eat this whole tray would be like a lunch to me. Instead of a salad, I'll eat the kale chips or I'll, I just use it as a snack when I want something crunchy. So I hope you try it. Did you know that you can build a protein from greens? Kale is one of the best greens that you can use to build a healthy protein in your body. It's because kale is full of amino acids and your body automatically takes what it needs and builds a human protein. It's easy and it's simple. It's easy for your body to do that. And kale is one of the best places to get it, to get those amino acids. There's easy ways that you can use kale. You can juice it in your juicer. Be sure to to pack it into a ball and press it into your juicer, maybe with an apple after it, then you can get all those amino acids. You can also blend it up in a green smoothie. I recommend using a big portion of spinach and a smaller portion of kale if you're not used to the taste of it or if you're making the green smoothie for your kids. You also can cut it up and put it in a warm soup just as in small pieces or you can do it in big pieces, but it's something great to add to a soup and it gives you that higher nutrition value. So I'm sure you've already heard about kale before this video. Now you've heard me talk about kale. If you haven't tried kale yet, you need to do it today. Push stop on this video, go get some, and make sure you try it.